you know, I was part of that press conference in 2011-12 when you came on and you said 2007-8 animosity won't be there. As captain, there will be intensity, but no animosity. And you completely changed that to a different mm. kind of respect. That yes, there will be respect, but there will be no bad blood. Can you tell me about what you meant and how that has completely redefined this rivalry? Yeah, look, I, I was very lucky. I played my first first class game for New South Wales was against a touring Indian team. Uh, my first test match was against India. My first test match 100 was against India. My highest test match score was against India. So there's so much connection to, to myself personally in India. And when I took over the captaincy, I was, uh, you know, I'm a very proud Australian and, and wanted to continue that legacy of playing tough Australian cricket. But I always thought there was a line that we shouldn't cross where you have to continue to play hard but play fair and respect your opposition. And I felt, you know, my competition against so many Indian players was always tough on the field. Really hard, really competitive. Both teams wanted to represent their country the right way. But once we stepped off the field, a lot of my good friends are Indian cricketers. And I think that is the important part. You can play hard on the field, but you can still be respectful and you can still be friends off the field. And I think competitions like the IPL deserve a lot of credit for that. I think that's brought a lot, brought a lot of countries closer together. Uh, you have the opportunity to play with so many different people from different countries and learn more about their culture and learn more about them as people. And that's what I wanted as Australian captain when I was in charge. I wanted that. I wanted to play hard on the field, but I also wanted the mates off the field. Coming to, coming to this series now, Michael, I mean, I was reading comments where you said uh, that Virat has to make impact in the white ball format for otherwise, because he's coming back, India might get smoked. That's the comment that's been attributed to you. Can you please explain yeah. what you mean and what it also means for Virat Kohli, because he's not playing the full series? Does it mean there will be extra pressure on him to make the white ball series his own? Your thoughts? Yeah, look, Virat Kohli is the best player in the world. So any time he's not playing, he's going to be a loss for India. There's no doubt about it. What I've said is I think India need to start really well. They need to have some success in the one-day series and the 2020 series to carry that momentum into the test series because only having Virat Kohli for the first test makes it extremely hard for India to win that series, in my opinion, particularly in Australian conditions. How do you replace Virat Kohli? It's nearly impossible. Not only his batting, but also his leadership, his aggressive approach, what he brings to that Indian team. The Indian players follow him. He's, he's their true leader. So, um, And you know what? I would probably be, be saying the same if MS Dhoni was captain and MS Dhoni only played the first test match and had to return back to India. I'd be saying the same thing because his impact in and around that group was exactly the same. So if India play well, start the series well, win the one days and the T20s and take confidence into the, Australian, into the, the test matches, then it's a completely different story. But my fear for India is if they don't have a good start, they do drop their confidence, they do find it hard in these conditions, and then you add losing your best player and your captain on top of that, it'll be really hard to catch the Australians. You, you said uh, Virat Kohli is the best batsman in the world. Uh, are you also saying that he's the best batsman in the world in test match cricket as well? I mean, keeping Steve Smith in mind, is it all formats? Is, I mean, can you explain how good and why you are saying this for Virat Kohli when you have Steve Smith as the, you know, the batsman for test match cricket? Yeah, look, I'm saying Virat is the best player in the world across all three formats. Uh, that's his advantage. He can play all three formats. Not too many players can, as good as him. You know, you look at Steve Smith's form in the most recent IPL, nowhere near as good as what he would have liked. I think he averaged just over 20 in that tournament. Steve Smith's an unbelievable test batsman, and I have no doubt he'll have a big series. Um, you know, it's, it, it's hard to, if I was just looking at test batsmen, there's probably a handful. I think Warner comes into calculation. Kane Williamson comes into calculation. Obviously, Virat Kohli's up there as well. So there's a handful at the top of the tree, but I think there's one that stands out if you look at all three formats, and that's Virat Kohli. The way he plays, the way he takes on the opposition, his fearless approach, he can bat anywhere in the order, he's good against quicks and the spinners, and he's had success in all conditions around the world. Uh, plus the fact there's not many players that know how to turn 50s into 100s like Virat Kohli. <laughs> 